Are you making these common mistakes on your carnivore journey that could be killing your results? The carnivore diet. If you've been struggling to lose weight, feeling sluggish, or simply not getting the results you expected, then you might be making some of the biggest mistakes on the carnivore diet. Don't make this mistake. Let's be real. No one wants to empty their wallet every time they go grocery shopping. But my friends, when it comes to the carnivore diet, skimping on quality can really cost you in the long run. Opting for the cheapest cuts of meat, the ones pumped full of who knows what and raised in who knows where, that's a recipe for disaster. Grass-fed beef, pasture-raised poultry, these aren't just buzzwords, they're signals of quality. More omega-3 fatty acids, more vitamins, more minerals. Get creative. Look for deals at your local butcher, buy in bulk, and don't be afraid to get resourceful with less popular and often less expensive cuts of meat. All right, let's talk about fat, my friends. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making on the carnivore diet is not eating enough fat. They've been told for years that fat is the enemy, so they shy away from it, even on a diet that's literally centered around animal products. Here's the thing. On a carnivore diet, fat is your primary source of energy. It's what fuels your cells, keeps you feeling full and satisfied, and helps your body transition into that fat-burning state we call ketosis. When you don't eat enough fat, your body goes into panic mode. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a 70-30 ratio of fat to protein. All right, I want to talk about something that's absolutely crucial for success on the carnivore diet, especially if you're just starting out having a meal plan. Without a plan, it's easy to fall into bad habits. A meal plan provides structure. It takes the guesswork out of what you're going to eat and when. It helps you stay organized, stay on track, and stay consistent, which is key when you're making any kind of dietary change. There are tons of resources available online and even apps that can help you create a personalized carnivore meal plan. All right, let's talk about nutrient deficiencies. A lot of people on the carnivore diet shy away from one of the most nutrient-rich parts of the animal, the organ meats, liver, heart, kidneys. These aren't just for adventurous eaters, my friends, they're nutritional powerhouses. They're loaded with vitamins A, B12, D, iron, copper, zinc, the list goes on and on. If you're only eating muscle meat, you're missing out on a whole world of nutritional goodness. Start small, experiment with different recipes, and find what works for you. One of the most common mistakes I see people making on the carnivore diet is getting caught in the extremes of portion control. It's easy to get overwhelmed when you're trying to figure out how much you should be eating, especially when you're surrounded by conflicting advice and information. They either fall into the trap of thinking meat is unlimited and end up massively overeating, or they swing the other way and restrict their calories so much that they're constantly hungry and miserable. This can lead to a cycle of binge eating and severe restriction, which is not sustainable in the long run. Overeating, even on healthy foods, can lead to digestive issues, weight gain, and can throw your body out of whack. It's important to remember that while meat is nutrient-dense, consuming it in excessive amounts can still have negative consequences on your health. On the flip side, drastically under-eating in an attempt to speed up weight loss can backfire big time. When you don't give your body enough fuel, you can experience fatigue, irritability, and a lack of energy to get through your day. When you chronically restrict calories, your body goes into starvation mode, your metabolism slows down, and you risk nutrient deficiencies. This can make it even harder to lose weight and maintain your health in the long term. A good rule of thumb is to start with a palm-sized portion of protein per meal and adjust based on your hunger cues. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how you feel after eating and make adjustments as needed. It's all about finding a balance that works for you and supports your health and well-being. Remember, the goal is to nourish your body, not to deprive it. By finding your perfect portion size, you can enjoy your meals, feel satisfied, and maintain a healthy relationship with food. It's a journey, and it's okay to make adjustments along the way. Trust yourself and the process. All right, let's talk about variety, my friends. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making on the carnivore diet is sticking to the same old, same old. They find a couple of cuts of meat they like, steak, bacon, maybe some chicken, and they eat them on repeat, day in and day out. The animal kingdom is vast and delicious. Beef, poultry, pork, lamb, seafood, the options are endless. Don't be afraid to branch out and try something new. Remember, the goal is to nourish your body with the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet, and that means embracing the diversity that the animal kingdom has to offer. All right, let's talk hydration. 
When you ditch the carbs and transition to a primarily meat-based way of eating, your body sheds water weight rapidly. This initial water weight loss is normal but it's crucial to replenish those fluids and electrolytes to avoid dehydration. Electrolytes, minerals like sodium, potassium, and magnesium, are essential for maintaining fluid balance, regulating nerve and muscle function, and keeping everything running smoothly. When you're dehydrated, you might experience fatigue, headaches, muscle cramps, and even constipation. Aim for at least half your body weight in ounces per day. Let's talk about patience, my friends, because this is a big one. Patience is a virtue that is often overlooked in our fast-paced world. We live in a world of instant gratification. Everything is at our fingertips, from food delivery to streaming services. We expect immediate results in every aspect of our lives. We want results, and we want them now. This mindset can be detrimental when it comes to making significant lifestyle changes. But when it comes to the carnivore diet, or any lifestyle change for that matter, patience is key. The body needs time to adjust to new ways of eating and living. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making is giving up too early. They expect overnight success and get discouraged when it doesn't happen. They try the carnivore diet for a week, maybe two, and they don't see the dramatic before and after transformations they were hoping for, so they throw in the towel. But real change takes time. Instead of focusing on the scale, pay attention to how you feel. Notice the small changes in your energy levels, your mood, and your overall well-being. Trust the process, be patient, and give your body the time it needs to thrive. Remember the journey to health is a marathon, not a sprint. Celebrate the small victories along the way and stay committed to your goals. Over time, you'll start to see the benefits of your hard work. Your body will adapt and you'll feel stronger, healthier, and more vibrant. So give yourself grace and keep pushing forward. The results will come and they will be worth the wait. All right, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the cholesterol in the steak. One of the biggest concerns people have about the carnivore diet is its potential impact on cholesterol levels. After all, we've been told for decades that dietary cholesterol is the enemy, that it clogs our arteries and leads to heart disease. But here's the thing, the science on cholesterol is far from settled. In fact, more and more research is emerging that challenges the conventional wisdom. The carnivore diet has been shown to increase HDL cholesterol levels. Let's face it, we don't live in a carnivore bubble. The world around us is filled with diverse food choices and social gatherings centered around meals, social events, work lunches, family dinners. These are all part of life. They bring us together, create memories, and are often the highlight of our days. And when you're on a carnivore diet, navigating the world of eating out can feel like a minefield. The pressure to conform to societal norms and the fear of not finding suitable options can be overwhelming. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making is assuming they can't eat out at all. This mindset can lead to unnecessary stress and social isolation. But here's the thing. You don't have to become a social hermit just because you're carnivore. There are ways to enjoy dining out without compromising your dietary choices. With a little planning and preparation, you can enjoy the social aspects of eating out while sticking to your dietary principles. It's all about being proactive and making informed choices. Before you go to a restaurant, check out the menu online. This allows you to identify carnivore-friendly options ahead of time, reducing stress and making the dining experience more enjoyable. Look for dishes that are naturally carnivore-friendly, like steak, grilled chicken, or fish. These options are often available at most restaurants and can be customized to fit your needs, or a burger without the bun. Don't be afraid to ask for modifications. Most restaurants are happy to accommodate dietary preferences. Communicate your needs clearly to the waiter. Explain your dietary restrictions and ask for recommendations. You might be surprised at the variety of options available to you. Remember, eating out is not just about the food, it's about the experience, the company, and the joy of sharing a meal with others. Embrace these moments and enjoy your carnivore journey without fear. So, there you have it my friends, the top 10 rule-breaking mistakes that could be sabotaging your carnivore diet. Remember, this way of eating can be incredibly powerful, but it's not a magic bullet. It takes effort, consistency, and a willingness to learn and adapt. Did any of these mistakes resonate with you? Drop your experience in the comments below and let's learn from each other. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your fellow carnivores.